guys, it's me Stone Throne, welcome to Fuck It Friday, every Friday, I just fucking started this, every Friday from now on is Fuck It Friday, it means that I do not care what I post on this day, and it's not going to be a vlog, because I have two days for vlogs, two days, that's it, and for Friday, I, it can come to skits to anything, like next week I could be reading Pornhub comments, it doesn't matter, so, with that being said, this week is story time. Here is two, no, two fucking stories. And, uh, yeah, let's get into them. Ugh. This first story is about my first grade teacher, her name was Miss Island. She's a bitch. I'm not calling every woman a bitch, but she was a bitch. And people say that women can be violent, this bitch was violent than a motherfucker. She hurt the living shit out of me! It broke my motherfucking, like, head. I, I'm crazy. Well, uh, what I didn't like about her is how she handled things. She was like a child, like, that, if you did something wrong to her, she's gonna cut you, okay? <laughs> I swear she would cut you. I'm kidding now. Uh, she would flip out over the smallest things, and she targeted me. <laughs> she fucking was like, like, somebody else would be talking in the class, she would say, Chris, go sit in the corner. I'm like, you bitch, okay. And I got in trouble a lot. And, it, like, they had these things that was, uh, they were, like, smile. they were something like that, and, uh, I got a four once. <laughs> four is the best grade you can get in that class as, like, uh, as a grading of the day, of the week. I always got a three. Uh, she always called me out for fucking one damn reason. One damn reason. And, uh... One time, it was at lunch, I was opening up my milk, but I accidentally opened up on the wrong side, everybody's done it, like, too eager and fucking, <sighs> that's not the fucking side that says open, shit, you try to open it and you have to fidget with it, then when you actually get it open, so fucking like nasty because it has hair all over it, shit, then I open it, in like a dot, like a fucking dot. That chocolate milk gets on her black dress. No, not black dress. Black fucking skirt. She looks at me and goes, Bitch! Who are you looking at? Fuck off. God, I hated her. Then she would go, like, and then the next day, this kid sat next to her. I was opening my milk, and I had to sit in front of her for some reason. It was fucked up. She goes, look, look at him. Teacher of the year. <laughs> Fucking bitch. That's not the worst thing she did, has done to me. She would undermine me. Like this one girl named Chloe. Her name was Chloe and uh, I, we were in the same class and shit. So I wanted to be nice. It was like, oh, cool. She was in the spelling bee. So I was like, oh, that's a that's a lot of words you spell. Like, you, you spelled over there. I was like, I was being nice. And she goes, everybody's like, good job, Chloe. You'll get it next time because she got third place. And you have to get first or second place to actually pass to go to the finals. So, Chloe did not get to do that. And... Everybody was like, good job, good job, good job. The teacher was like, good job. I was like, good job, Chloe. You spelled a lot of words. She goes, Chris. Shh. Something like that. She's like, shut up. Another round of applause for uh, Miss Island. Fuck. And uh, she actually hit, hurt me physically sometimes. No, we did this once. Uh, since I was, like, nice with people, they, they were nice to me. Uh, she would go to the bathroom in the middle of the class, tell somebody to look out for her so she can actually go to the bathroom, in our class bathroom. So, she 
we'd always pick the like the good kids, which was Chloe. And I would uh, didn't know if she was going to the bathroom, and Chloe would look at me, and I would go, "Shit, I won't talk again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do not say it, please." She was like, "Okay." One time she was like, "Fuck it. Now you can't watch the video." Set me in a chair, flipped the other way, and I could not watch the video. If I turned around, fucking laps around the like the recess place. Oh, then. She actually physically hit me, hurt me, kind of. Well, I'm not a very organized kid. Like, if you looked in my desk during those years, shoved with papers, straight to the back, pencils that are, like, fucking on a lost island and shit, made their own colonies and everything. I mean, like, it was fucking crazy. <laughs> I was a terrible organizer. And then, the thing that pissed me off... But she would check my desk and say I had to clean it. So I was like, okay, good. Hmm, clean it. Done. Just throw the papers away and fuck. Good. But one time, she was kind of pissed for no fucking reason. I was like, Chris, let me see your desk. I was like, no. Because it got bad that time. She goes, oh. Pushes me out of the chair. Picks my fucking desk up. And dumps it on me. Fucking don't sit on me. Thing is, I got hit in the fucking head. By the desk. I'm not gonna lie. I fucking cried. I got fucking pissed. I didn't tell my mom. I wish I did, because my mom will beat the shit out of that teacher. <laughs> I'm not fucking lying with that one. Uh, I wish I did tell my mom. Uh, I did tell her, but she was kind of busy at the time. So, yeah. I will... This next story. You're, this one is fucking me destroying myself. So, get back to you on a second. Ah! Well, guys, this is a second fucking story. Let's talk about it. And, uh, this is actually why y'all don't know this. I have a scar on one, one of the sides of my head, like one of these two, is because I busted my head open. I'm telling you this story because y'all don't know this. I, uh, don't, haven't told that much people about this. It's very embarrassing. So, I'm putting it on YouTube. Fucking great idea. It, this takes place in like kindergarten or fucking first grade. And this is when you're happy to be in school. Like, when you're ready to fucking go to school. Now I'm like, fuck it, I don't want to go. Well. Since I was happy to go to school or something like that. And this is when I wore Crocs too. Fucking, I hate those motherfuckers. They don't even look good. I don't know why I wore them, because they were easy to wear and shit. I was wearing Crocs, and uh, I had to go to these classes that I don't go to anymore. I went to them, like, first two years of school, and then I never went again. With that, I would uh, be, like, they would help me with some things. It was like, uh, fuck, what is it called? I don't, I don't have time to say it. I think it's like advisory or something like that. Well, I w was going to that class and we needed a fucking uh, folder for it. So I'm sitting there like, oh, we need a folder. Uh, I I need I forgot mine in the class. I gotta go get it. My dumbass skipped to the class. That's why it's so embarrassing. I had to fucking skip in Crocs. I think I was wearing jeans and a fucking like a racer shirt. I was not matching. And I went and got it perfectly. Then I went to go back, I was still skipping, and I tripped, fell, hit the fucking door jam. If you don't know what the door jams at school, like the things that fucking hold the door, door jams, those fucking hurt. I mean, like, it's literally mixed together with metal and cement. And that is fucking bullshit. So I tripped, fell, hit my head on the corner. I hit my head on the door jam. And I, like, I, I didn't feel anything, it was like, uh, I was in shock. Supposedly, I didn't feel anything. So, 
uh, I was doing, I got up, I was like, ah. I didn't know what it was, I was like, ah, that kind of hurt, it was like in shock because I fell, the kids were like, Chris, your head, your head, I was like, what, the teacher goes, Chris, touch your head, I went, I fucking started screaming and yelling, and the teacher gave me a napkin. You know the napkins at elementary school or any school? It's fucking thick as fuck, okay? By the time I went to the thing, it seeped through and got all over my hand. So I ended up going to the doctor and got three fucking staples in my head. And knowing me, since I was a little pussy as a kid, I thought it was going to hurt really bad. <laughs> he just went... Like, I think he took, a, like, a staple gun, like, a little stapler, and went, <laughs> I, said, I don't know what the fuck he did, but after that, uh, I had to have a wrap around my head. People really wanted to fucking see it, fucking creepos. They were like, can I see your scar, can I see it? Can I see your fucking cut that you had, like, a fucking two days ago? Can I see it? Can I see? Please? Please. I, I, I don't care. Please let me see it. Pretty much that. It was a bull. So. After I got the stitches a few months later. No, after I got the staples a few months later, I got them out. And I have a bald spot in my head somewhere. I think it's right about here. I think right around here. I, I'll, I'll, I'll have a picture at the end of this. Try to find it. So. That's the story time. Hope y'all liked it. Like, comment, subscribe. The camera cut out. And what I was saying was, uh, like, comment, subscribe. For more content, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And stone thrown out. Peace. <gasps>